Here's my review of Butcher ABC at the basement in Canberra. G'day folks, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm off to Canberra to go and see Butcher ABC all the way from Japan. We were playing with Dark Horse from Sydney, 100 Years War from Melbourne I think, and Locals Blightworms. Um, should be a bloody killer gig. It's a Sunday afternoon gig. It starts at 3, so it's kind of uh, civilised, you could say. I think it's uh, realising that people are going to be working tomorrow, so they're probably not up for a big one, but at any rate, I'm driving up, so it should be a grand time. Been a fan of Butcher ABC for many years, since they butchered it birthday or whatever it's called uh, EP came out um, huge fan of their North from Hell album and they split with general surgery yeah they're a Japanese band with um, by Naru who's the main guy of uh, obliteration records and also the old singer of clotted symmetric sexual organ which is a quality old Japanese grind band yeah I think um, Butcher ABC started as a kind of <laughs> pretty noise corey gore grindy kind of band but quickly morphed into a a bit more death metal-y than gore grind, really. I mean, it's very gory sounding. It pretty much sounds a lot like uh, General Surgery, who they did a killer split with. So it's, yeah, you know, a good chunk of Carcass uh, reference, as well as a bit of Swedish death metal and a bit of Bolt Thrower as well thrown in. And, yeah, it's a great mix as far as I'm concerned. So, yeah, I've liked them for bloody ages. I never expected them to tour Australia. So very, very happy with that one. Um, yeah, I think, I'm not sure if they were supposed to play an MDF that I was going to or if I just didn't go to the MDF that they did play, but yeah, very happy to see this. I believe this happened, I think they'd actually split up pretty much, but the drummer of 100 Years War, Ash, uh, apparently contacted them all keen to tour them and has now uh, been roped in as their drummer for, well, possibly for only for this tour, I don't know, but so good work, Ash. I'm glad to see you bringing out some quality bands, so yeah, should be a grand old time. Um, I have seen 100 Years War at, I think, Canberra Metal Fest, but I don't really remember much. They were a bit entombed-y sounding, possibly, so yeah, I'll give them a go, should be fun. Uh, Dark Horse I saw not that long ago, and, um, they've been around for ages. I saw them at um, Bruce Fe or Brute Fest in Sydney, I don't know, last year, whenever that was. Um, yeah, they were, they were pretty good, sort of um, pretty metallic hardcore, pretty metally, but pretty hardcore as well, so no, that should be fun. And yeah, Locals are Blightwormer. Uh, Last minute ring-ins, I think Wretch was supposed to play, but one of the members broke their arm or something or other, so a slight dampener on proceedings. So, yeah, thankfully Blightworm are just very fast grind, pretty intense sort of stuff, so yeah, very happy with that. So, yeah, it should be a fun day, I reckon. Um, I'm hoping a few people go. I have a bad feeling that Sunday Avo gigs aren't always the most successful, so well, we'll see. I'm hoping there's plenty of people there to enjoy the, the grooves. I may well even uh, stop off at a local bottle to get me some fancy beer, so I might post some pics of those. Because, yeah, there's a paid bottler is very close to the basement in Belconnen, so yeah, hopefully they're still open because, yeah, I got some money burning a hole in my pocket, or more, more to the point, <laughs> a big desire for beer. So, but anyway, hopefully, I'll get some reasonable footage. Um, yeah, it should be a fun night, so yeah, cheers. Hey, we are Butch ABC. Hey. Well, it's a couple of days later, and let me tell you, the gig was bloody awesome. Really good fun. On the way up, I managed to stop at um, Page Bottle which is a yeah, good little bottle in Belconnen, Canberra. Um, yeah, they get a bit of my money over the years, and so yeah, met with my mate Mark there and had a good peruse there before chuffing off to the basement, which is like about a two-minute drive tops. Uh, I managed to score yeah, a, reasonable, a modest but good range of um, mostly sours and stouts as per usual. Um, currently I'm drinking the Crumblicious Honeycomb and Toffee Stout from Dainton, which is pretty tasty. Um, but yeah, the gig itself, <laughs> really good fun. 
It was a Sunday Arvo, so I wasn't expecting too much, and there wasn't a massive crowd by any means. Thankfully, it was on in the, the back room at the basement, which is a much smaller, cosier venue, and yeah, pretty much perfect size for that, that gig. It was really good. Um, I'm not that surprised at a smallish crowd. I mean, there was like a two-day festival grooving in the Moo or something or other on in Canberra that weekend, and Mud Honey were playing that night at ANU, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm glad it was an afternoon gig because that way I could uh, drive home straight after it, so it was convenient. But um, yeah, it was a small but dedicated crowd and um, yeah, really, really seemed to enjoy it. And it was uh, good feedback from everyone, everyone concerned, I think. <laughs> First up, the locals, Blightworms, who uh, were filling in for Wretch because, uh, yeah, their drummer um, <laughs> wasn't quite acting his age and managed to break his arm skateboarding, I think. So he could still hold a beer, so he's on the mend, but yeah, not quite up to a uh, nasty grindcore. So no Wretch, but Blightworms filled in and was bloody excellent. Uh, they're a um, very rabid sort of grind band, um, just ferocious, nasty sort of stuff. They do have some slower, sort of chunkier bits, but yeah, most of it's fast and nasty. Um, very well punctuated by Damien's pretty intense vocals of really good screams, but also some really good lows, which not a surprise thing is from various uh, quality Canberra death metal bands over the years, Dehuman and Infinitum. So, yeah, that uh, really adds to the intensity, that's for sure. Uh, bass player uh, seems a bit shy, though. He always plays with his back to the crowd, which is a little weird, but... Oh, well. Fair enough, whatever, whatever floats your boat. And the poor drummer looked a bit knackered, though. I'm not sure if he was uh, just out of shape or tired or something or other. But yeah, he didn't seem to be enjoying himself a giant amount. But, well, I mean, what would it be? I, I find it weird seeing those grind bands where the drummer looks all, you know, happy-go-lucky, no worries, I can blast like this for hours on end. I like the sloppier-looking guys that look like they're about to die every, <laughs> at the end of every song, so... But yeah, they, they did a killer job though. Really chunky sort of stuff. Um, yeah, I'm, I only have, I think, a couple of their splits. They, they don't have a full album yet, so I'm looking forward to that if they ever get around to recording it. But and yeah, I think I'm seeing them again at um, Despise You that are touring next month, I think. So yeah, can't bloody wait for that. But yeah, Blindworms, great band. <laughs>
was not me. Up next for Sydney hardcore band Dark Horse, who've been around a while. I've seen them a number of times, but yeah, this one finally sort of sold me on them, I think. I saw them at uh, Bruce, or Brute Fest uh, last year sometime, and yeah, they were, they were pretty good, but it didn't quite blow me away. But yeah, the other night, really enjoyable. Uh, it's just sort of yeah, pretty nasty, hardcore sort of stuff. Very energetic sort of singer as well. Uh, had really nice guitar sound, very much appreciated that. And yeah, apparently the drummer broke on the head of his snare, which is pretty bloody good task, I reckon. So he's no tap of that fellow. Um, thankfully, he must have had a replacement. So yeah, they, cause they continued on, but um, but yeah, that plus, I mean, bass player had a Christbait shirt on, so how can I be mad at them ever? So, but yeah, that, that were killer. I mean, I think they were kind of expecting a bit more crowd interaction, but it was, it was a bit stand around watching sort of style, but now nah, what the hell. So yeah, I, mean, I only have like a couple of splits again of theirs, but they've got like, I don't know, three or four albums at least, so I might have to track a couple down. I have a bad feeling I probably could have just bought them at the gig. I, didn't, I, only, I looked at Butcher ABC merch and pretty much had it all other than the t-shirts that were not quite my size, you could say. A little small. Um, so I didn't didn't buy one, one iota of merch that night, which is kind of weird, but oh well. Um, but yeah, Dark Oz, good stuff. Um, don't know if I'm seeing them again anytime soon, but yeah, they go all right. <laughs> Next were 100 Years War from Melbourne, who are a newish sort of band. They play sort of, I don't know, kind of Swedish death metal mixed with D-beat sort of hardcore stuff, which is a pretty bloody good combination if you ask me. And they, they do it quite well. There's a slight sort of um, at the gates feel occasionally. It's that slight melodic touch to it, but yeah, it sounded fine by me. It's not really my usual kind of thing, but yeah, they worked well. Um, yeah. Quite a loud guitar sound, I've got to say, and I couldn't actually hear the drummer very well, and considering he sounded fine in Butcher ABC, um, yeah, maybe the guitars are a bit loud, I don't know. But um, yeah, no, no, quite enjoyable, nice and aggro. I like the sort of intense sort of stuff that they were doing. Uh, I've only seen them once before at Canberra Metal Festival, and yeah, that was a, a long day, so I didn't really remember much, but yeah, they're quite impressed. I had to listen to their album before as well, which I'll put a picture up of, because yeah, that's well worth tracking down, I reckon. So, another band I should have bought merch of, but yeah, what the hell. Um, yeah, very enjoyable. I'd, uh, I'd happily watch 100 Years War again, so yeah, good work. <laughs> Was definitely Butcher ABC all the way from Japan who were just <laughs> just awesome really good fun it's just a perfect mix of sort of groove with uh, tough bolt thrower riffs and um, just that general surgery style gore grind just 
catchy as hell, but yeah, it was it's a strange combination. It's sort of like brutal nasty, but just you know, as uh, my friend Christoph says, it's death boogie inferno. <laughs> <laughs> Quite fitting, I think. Uh, yeah, that was just really good fun. I could see smiles all around the crowd. Everyone was just having a blast. I mean, it sort of helped that they're um, wearing like butcher's outfits, or you know, they got like aprons on with patches all over them and fake blood and stuff. Uh, plus, the <laughs> bass players, as you'll see, would have seen in the footage, it wears like a gas mask and has a microphone like jammed in it. Uh, so. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty cool. They actually had triple vocal attack, which was nice. Um, two normal ones, and I think the other guitarist had like pitch shifted sort of style, so it sounded bloody bonza. Um, but yeah, the, <laughs> the guy with the gas mask on his apron had this killer huge uh, like show no mercy demon patch on it, as well as a heap of other patches, but <laughs> and also a Michael Jackson patch for some reason. So love your work, mate. Um, but yeah, that was. I just have this that lovely dichotomy of Japanese bands where they're all nice and polite to the crowd, but they're just intense nastiness. Uh, they had a very amusing bit where they're um, asking if it was anyone's birthday, and they're all you know nice about it. And then my friend Jules said, "Yeah, it was hers," and um, they went and they said, "We butcher you." <laughs> just played the played uh, uh, what is it? Happy rebirthday or whatever their song is. Um, <laughs> so that was, that was good fun. Just. Uh, and I actually never noticed how much how much of a repulsion influence they have. I don't know, there's just a couple of riffs that I'm just like, oh, that could be like straight out of like Black Breath or I don't know. It just, just had that, that feel to it, which is pretty bloody killer and a bit of uh, Impetigo as well, of course. Uh, my favourite songs were probably Morbid Angel of Death with its just steamroller groove and um, <laughs> the awesomely titled Darkness in the Dark. I love it. Um, yeah, they mostly played songs off. I mean, they only have one album, really, and a couple of EPs. So, yeah, I, I, I knew, I expected what I got. Um, anything didn't really quite grab me as they played the song North of Hell, which is like the last song on that album. Uh, just a killer album, I recommend it, but it's kind of like a jam session almost. <laughs> I was wondering if it was going to be like the Spinal Tap, uh, what is it? Bass Odyssey or whatever he does, but no. Uh, it was still still pretty gory, but it was just sort of like, you know, seven minutes where they could have played two other killer songs, but yeah, well, it was still fun. And they ended with a nastier one that I can't remember the title of. My friend Mark asked me what, <laughs> what song was what, and I'm like, I don't know. I know I know what they sound like, but uh, yeah, I couldn't be bothered paying attention to song titles these days. I got more, more important shit to do. Um, but yeah, they uh, <laughs> it's just awesome fun crowd i mean there were there wasn't like a huge mosh or anything like that but the crowd very appreciative and uh, i could tell the band enjoyed it as well so uh, it was um really really good fun i was uh, quite a bit actually better than i expected i mean I figured they'd be great but that uh, was really good so yeah thanks heaps to butcher abc for coming out and to ash from uh, 100 years of war for drumming for them and bringing them out as well so Bloody good job. I was very pleased with that. Um, it looked like they had a fun time playing, uh, what is it, New Flesh or whatever, some festival in Adelaide. There was looked like a reasonable turnout there, and they played Melbourne and Sydney as well. So, yeah, I hope that's not the last we see of them, because, yeah, that was really good fun. Uh, following in a long line of excellent Japanese bands touring Australia. Uh, we've been pretty lucky over the years. There's been some, some corkers, I reckon. Um, but yeah, it was a very enjoyable evening, so thanks to all involved, and thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.